If you want fantastic gaming glasses that improve clarity and reduce eye strain, make sure to buy those with glasses using the link in the description to better your gaming experience today. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video. I did promise in a video before that I would show you a pretty good gameplay that I got recently on Free For All, um, on PC obviously. And I am currently showing it you now. It's a glorious 60 FPS. I did say last video, I think, um, that I would try and record in 60 FPS on PC. And it seems to have worked for replays anyway. I'm not sure if it will work if I tried to do it all live. But yeah, it seems to have worked for replays. So here is the gameplay. Um, I think in the video, I did say I got... Um, 30 and 7, but in in actual fact, I got 23 and 7. I didn't win, but it's still a pretty good gameplay. Uh, well, for me, it is anyway. For some people, this is probably just their normal game, but for me, it's a decent gameplay, so I have decided to make a video on it. Now, I've died two times so far, I think, and I've now got three kills, so um, it's, it's okay, but as I said, I do end up getting quite a lot further ahead than that and now I've died three times it's a bit of a disappoint disappointing start I am still using the same class as I was using in my uh, other video by the way so if you want to go and look at that you can and I will be using the same class unfortunately though it was a live commentary so I didn't get a very good gameplay but still if you want to go and see that class and see me playing it live then you can just go and watch that video now here I I was catching up and then unfortunately I fell one behind again. I've caught up almost fully and then fell one behind again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, again, I don't win this game, but it's a pretty good gameplay. So I just see a guy with an AN94 there. He doesn't see me. That Olaf guy, just I keep killing him over and over again. It's really, it was really easy to kill that guy. So yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't very good. Um... Oh, took, took a bit of damage from the side there. I was using the minimap quite a lot here. Um, and I wasn't really in the live commentary. So that's probably a reason why I wasn't doing particularly well in the live commentary. Because it is hard to focus on playing a game and saying words at the same time. <laughs> um, especially on, on games like Black Ops 2 where it's like very, you know, you, you have to think about things all the time. That's why I haven't made any StarCraft videos, because in that, in that case, in that way, it's worse than Black Ops 2, because you have to focus so much on it compared to games like Black Ops 2. Like, Civ 5, I'm probably going to do a series on. That's, that's because I like Civ, it's a good game, and I like the series of games. I've got Civ 5, and also, you can, it's not that, um, like you don't have to think about it all the time. Because it's a turn-based game, you have to just think about, at the start of the turn, you just have to think about a few things, and then press next turn, and then maybe wait for a bit, and whatever. And you can talk about whatever you want, so it's pretty good. But I need to, uh, it, it takes a lot of getting used to, definitely, trying to do live commentaries. And as you just saw, I did get promoted in this match, because I was doing relatively well. Well, not necessarily just because of that, probably helped that. I was doing re relatively well, but it also helped that I was near getting promoted at the time of the match. Here we are, throwing out my Hunter Killer drone. I do find that UAVs are really useful, especially when you do actually start using the minimap. Um, I do call in my UAV in a second, but yeah, when you do start using the minimap, UAVs are like the most useful thing. Oh, I just realised I died one off a lightning strike. This would have been a way better game if I got that kill. I may have known that at the time, and that's why I actually died, because I was feeling the pressure. Here we are. I'm currently four behind, um, and I'm on 20, so I only get three more kills from this point on. At the end, I do show the, um, what is it, the leaderboard, yeah, the scoreboard, and I did record this in theatre mode. I didn't, I, I wasn't just recording while I was playing, because I don't really do that kind of thing. If you do want to look at my live streams, you can. I stream more than record StarCraft because streaming is less of a like full-on thing. You just kind of sit back and you can relax a bit more. Well, not necessarily relax a bit more, but you don't have to talk constantly all the time. And P 
people don't get as bored as much because they're used to it on Twitch. That's how streams work. Because people stream for a long time and you can't talk like this for that long. <laughs> Here we are, 22 kills coming up to the final kill that I get. Um, and then I will show you the scoreboard right at the end once the game ends. And I'm just running around. I don't think I even have a secondary in this class because I have so many attachments on my Type 25. I don't have a secondary. There we go, that's the last kill. RT play. He might even be a YouTuber. Go and search on YouTube. See if RT plays a YouTuber. If he if he is, write that down in the comments below. And there we are. That's the victory. I came second. Chewbacca came first. RT play came third. And I got seven deaths, which is in fact the lowest amount of deaths compared to everyone. It was like a 3.23 KD ratio, I think, which was pretty good KD. But yeah. That's going to be about the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.